Hi everybody. Well, I don't know if you remember at the end of the summer last year I started to make this tow behind topper. Well, it should have been made by now. It's nearly the start of the grass season. So I've got the first engine on to see if it would work. And I've started to make the the drawbar with the um, pivoting pivoting drawbar attachment so I can either have it behind me or I can have it running off beside me so I'm getting double the cut um, so what have I done I've made the wheel adjusters the guy I've just borrowed these wheels off the guy at the mower shop and um, they're not quite big enough for what I wanted so I've mocked up um, the brackets they need, need, need to be a heavier gauge because this um, this piece here which is the adjuster is is flexing and because there's a bearing in the wheel the, the bearings you've got that little bit of play so the wheels are a little bit floppy at the moment we don't want that so we're going to make this out of double the thickness and I want to get some tractor, garden tractor wheels, which I've seen someone selling some on Facebook. Um, so they haven't got any bearings, they just run on a solid shaft. So that'll do, that'll get rid of all that play. So that isn't the bracket moving, that's just the play in the wheel bearing itself. Anyway, so what have I done? Uh, it was really, don't look at my worlds because it was so bloody windy here. Um, you should use Arc Welder if you're working out in the in the wind but I needed to get this done so the idea is I've put a packer in there a bit of tube I've got to do the same at this end so there's no um, movement in the drawbar so you have it set there for behind you and then how far you want it to go off under the trees you move your so at that it should run um, just overlapping the deck on the tractor so I've got 42 inches on the tractor 42 inches on here so with the overlap I'll be doing an 80 inch cut so I've just got to do a little bit of you can see that moving up and down in there so I need to just put a bit of tube top and bottom to hold that central Done is I'll put a plate top and bottom with pins in to align it. Um, now this is made out of three mil. I've got to put some box section across it to stiffen that deck up. Although it's rigid, when the engine's running, you get that bit of vibration going on, and that'll bugger the the big ends up. So once we get the other engine up and mocked up, I shall run a couple of um, pieces of 25mm box across to stiffen the chassis up. So what I've rigged up here is I just take put a new blind in the bathroom and this was the rod out of the blind. I just I like to keep bits and bobs like this. So this is the decompression lever. So that's your so you can start. This is the throttle, so you take it, up, take it up there onto choke, and then drop it down there to full revs. I run everything on full revs, and that down just to turn it off. You can see there. See, it comes up, and then the the last bit has to choke. And these Honda engines, they start so well. Some of them, when they're getting a bit old, they need to choke to start, but more often than not, um, you never need to choke, because uh, after a season, the cable seize up anyway. Anyway, so that's that's that all rigged up. So I'll do the same over there behind the other engine. I've got another engine off another mower, so that's the same as this six and a half horse. Honda only did six and a half horse engines on their mowers for a short time, because they were too big. Um, and then they drop back down for a 21 inch 
I think they dropped back down to five and a half horse. And then the smaller mowers, 18 inch, 19 inch, they went to a four horse. Now that's a four horse engine over there and it's not man enough for here really. But I picked up a, a hater which had a Honda engine on it, and that's a six and a half horse engine, so that'll match this one. So I'll bung that on that side, and I'll stick that back on the other mower. And I'll rig this mechanism up behind the other mower. I'll put a couple of um, supports in here. I'll put a 45 in there, 45 in there, and that'll, it's just a vibration that wrecks these things. But, um, so that's the first one rigged up. What we'll do is we'll get it all rigged up and then we'll disassemble it all and paint it. So it looks like I know, you know I bought it for someone. <laughs> it looks pocket. You know, but uh, I'll show it running. So that's the decompression on. so long. Well, that engine's probably done about four years service so it's smoking like mad. These Honda engines they go until they blow up. These an oil change. Anyway I think that's probably part two on that. That's quite an old video but all I do is I'll finish the draw bar off, get this one rigged up and then just beef up the wheels, put a couple of um, like bumper stops on here, stop me hitting trees with the wheels, put one, well, just put one in the front. And then we'll go and try it. Anyway, that's the finishing topper. Homemade, okay, bye.